Hello everyone. Today's topic is very important. Every year UPSC asked one or two questions from this topic. So let's start. As all we know that temperature decreases with increasing height at the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer and this phenomenon is called normal lapse rate but if this phenomenon is reversed then it is called temperature inversion or negative lapse rate in normal lapse rate that is in the normal conditions cold air lies over the warm air but in the case of temperature inversion you can see that cold air lies below at the surface and warm air lies above for the growing of temperature inversion some essential conditions are needed. The first one is long nights. So when we see long nights? In the summer season or the winter season? Of course in the winter season because at the time sun moves towards south in the southern hemisphere. That's why daytime is shorter and nights are longer in the northern hemisphere. As you know that art receives its energy at the daytime from the sun and radiates back in the form of terrestrial radiation at night. So if the nights are longer than the daytime then art radiates more energy to the atmosphere and it becomes cool. The second condition is clear skies. You think that if the sky is covered by clouds then is it easy for the earth to radiate back the heat to the atmosphere? Of course not. Clouds obstruct the radiation. Third condition is calm and stable air. That is there is no vertical mixing of air. Let's see the types of temperature inversion. So firstly ground inversion. It develops when air is cooled by contact with a colder surface until it becomes cooler than the overlying atmosphere. It occurs in static atmosphere condition where there is no movement of air, whether horizontal or vertical. They normally occurs during the long winter nights in the snow covered regions of the middle and high latitudes. In fact, surface inversion is caused due to nocturnal cooling of the ground surface due to rapid rate of loss of heat from the ground through terrestrial radiation. Therefore, it is also called radiation inversion. Thus, the air coming in contact with the cool ground surface also becomes cold, while the air lying above is relatively warm. Consequently, temperature inversion develops because of cold air layer below and warm air layer above. The next is subsidence inversion. It develops when a thick mass of air descends. The descending air is warmed due to compression and as a result the lapse rate of temperature is reduced. If the air mass sinks low enough, the air at higher altitudes becomes warmer than at lower altitudes and producing a temperature inversion. Such inversion of temperature are found in those latitudes where high pressure prevails. The temperature inversion causes stability in the atmosphere and thus there is dry condition. Now what is frontal or cyclonic inversion? When the warm and cold air meet then the warm air rises up and as the cold air is heavy it sinks down and results in the formation of frontal inversion. The inversion of temperature occurs in occluded front, mainly in the temperate regions. Later on, I'll make a separate video on this topic. The next is valley inversion. Let's understand this topic by a diagram. At daytime, what happens is that the slope of mountains is heated up by the sun and as a result, the air present on the slope becomes light and rises up which creates low pressure zone. On the other hand, 
the valley floor of the mountain receives less insulation so here the air is cool and the high pressure center develops here therefore the wind moves from high pressure to low pressure as you know that wind get their names from the direction of where they are coming so this wind moves from valley to mountain so it is called valley beats or anabatic wind so the next diagram is about the long winter nights at night now the valley gets heated and the slope of the mountain becomes cold that pushes the wind to move from mountain slope to valley this wind is called mountain breeze or catabatic wind where you find the conditions of temperature inversion let's move on the effects of temperature inversion temperature inversion play an important role in determining cloud forms precipitation and visibility in regions where a pronounced low level inversion is present convective clouds cannot grow high enough to produce showers because see in temperature inversion warm air lies over the cold air and so the warm air doesn't allow the clouds to get condensed but this condition is suitable for the formation of fog at the lower layer which reduces visibility and causes disturbance in transportation sometimes frost also occurs which destructs agricultural crops so most of the people live on the sloping areas of the mountains urban smoke is also seen due to temperature inversion temperature inversion also causes atmospheric stability that discourages rainfall and favors dry condition the inversion of temperature caused by the subsidence of air resulting into anticyclonic conditions that increases aridity this is why the western parts of the continents situated between 20 degree to 30 degree latitudes are characterized by anticyclonic condition that represent most widespread tropical desert of the world okay guys i hope you liked my video Always remember revision is the key to success the more you revise the better you get the result if you have any queries regarding this topic please let me know in the comment section all right then take care jai hind